Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Leo and Capricorn, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to start with love because I am seeing uh, something going on here. Uh, yeah, I... Uh... I think I see a little bit of folly somewhere. Oh, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with love. We're going to look at this from a positive perspective, if we can. You know, if we can find something positive in this, I think that's the goal. So we will we will do that. I'm going to pull love. Um, give me love for Leo, please. Leo's energy in this relationship with Capricorn, please. Give me Leo's energy. Passion. I am passionate towards you. Leo, you could be allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy. You could be singing, ooh, you know, whistling and stuff, like, you know, that type of stuff. All right. So we see that there's some passion that comes in for you, Leo, in this relationship with Capricorn. Give me more. Give me more, please. What else is going on? Now, guys, please keep in mind this can be different stories, right? So these cards that I'm pulling now, that could be one story that you actually resonate with. And then, you know, you go further into the reading. You're like, uh, that's not me. You can continue to listen, cross watch, whatever, call a friend, share the channel. <laughs> All right. Leo, we also have coming up for you heart to heart conversations. You guys may not be, be able to express yourselves. This card did come out reversed here. So it says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like some words have not been said or somebody may have uh, said some things that weren't necessarily true, right? So somebody could have lied perhaps, or, you know, maybe they didn't get a chance to tell you all the details during those five hours that you were out on a date at the park, at the movies, to the da, they just slipped their mind, something like that, right? So there's something that you guys have or somebody you may have passion for. There's something where maybe you didn't tell the truth about something or maybe you, I don't know, uh, didn't disclose something or maybe you feel like somebody lied to you. Maybe you feel like Capricorn lied to you about something, left out some details. Maybe you feel like you can't talk to Capricorn. There's nothing I can say to you. You won't let me talk. If you see the gesture on this person's face, right? Give me more. Uh, we also have here children. Okay, somebody could have children or maybe somebody uh, has some paternity questions about a child, children. We have here, your love life is being affected by children. Somebody's saying that their love life is not being impacted by children or somebody may not have any children or something like that. There's something that comes into question about children or something like that. I have passion, but this Leo could actually be reservations that you have about Capricorn, right? If we want to keep it like that possibility, whatever this is about Capricorn, give me your energy in this relationship with Leo, please give me your energy in this relationship with Leo Capricorn. I'm going to need your energy, please. I'm going to need your energy, please. please. All right. Capricorn, what's going on? Capricorn, what's going on with you and Leo? What up? Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to try this again. We're going to try you again, okay? Capricorn, give me your energy, please. Some of you guys, somebody's coming across as incoherent. They can't quite comprehend or understand something. I don't know when this is happening. This could have happened recently for some of you guys. Could be Capricorn that this happened for. I'm trying to pull the energy. I can't talk to them. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. There's something where finances are coming up, right? So we have one here that is passionate towards something. The other one is having some financial challenges, difficulties. Give me more, please, Capricorn. For some of you guys, you might feel stagnant. Maybe you can't move because of finances and career. Or maybe this is what you put first above passion, right? Maybe you put this above children or whatever. Some of you guys need to reprioritize depending on what role you play in each other's lives. If this is parenting or something like that, there might be a need to reprioritize or uh, accept the fact that somebody is not going to be your all in all during your struggles with these kids or whatever this is. Somebody could have lied to you. Somebody's more focused on their money. Express love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, so Capricorn's like finances and career. You're being encouraged to go ahead and make some romantic gesture. 
give me one more please for Capricorn because I see finances and careers your number one thing right it looks pretty that finances and career are your number one like that's what's on your mind right now right and then express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture a romantic gesture that's not a confession of love and then it says that you're still holding on to your like your ex so there's somebody that you guys are holding on to so you're focused on finances career you want to express or make some sort of romantic gesture to Capricorn, but you're still holding on to your ex or Capricorn could be your ex. Give me the common energy, please, between these two. What's the common energy, please, between Leo and Capricorn and love? What's going on here? Yeah, somebody's holding on to an ex. Um, there's something with engagement here. The common energy that comes up for you guys here, you guys could be engaged. All right, somebody might have some reservations about partying. Uh, somebody's partying too much. Capricorn, I feel like the energy's coming up and somebody's having a good time or you feel like Leo is having too much of a good time. This is the Three of Cups coming up reversed here. For some of you, somebody could be overindulging, could be partying too much. There's a possibility here that there's somebody who is uh, staying up all night. Maybe they're just, I don't know, going at it. And I feel like somebody could be doing this with a group of friends or something like that. There's just way too much of it. It's to the point where some people actually start gossiping. I feel like whatever this behavior is, somebody could be, it could be impacting day-to-day -day activities. I see Leo coming up with these like major life changes. As a matter of fact, let me just, yep, okay. There's three major life changes coming up. Three major arcanas that show up for Leo here. Now, Leo, in this relationship, I'm showing that this could be you, right, who's overindulgent, and this could be Capricorn's feelings, or this could be Capricorn doing a little bit too much when it comes to hanging out all night and, you know, drinking or whatever's going on. So there's something where, Leo, you may have ignored your inner, vo your inner voice. For some of you guys, something kept nudging you. It's like, I need you to address something. There's something that I need you guys to do. I need you to check on something, right? So I feel like there's something here where you guys realize, in a sense, maybe you felt like you were being cheated out of something or you feel like something's off here, something that you need to probe. So I feel like for some of you guys, you may have done that. You guys felt like something was staring up. You're like, something's coming up because you can feel it. Like you smell, you know, when the seasons change, like right now you can... On certain days, you can smell when fall is coming. Autumn, they call it. So if something where you guys were like smelling something, there were senses brewing, something for you guys here. You knew something was coming up. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been fending off comments because whatever's going on, whatever's brewing, I feel like your mind has really been taking you there. Making you have to recall and recount certain events that happened in the past. For some of you guys, this could be some practice or maybe you guys encountered somebody that was dark at some point or maybe this is your energy i don't know but this is your energy in this, in this relationship somebody ignored their inner voice here i feel like with the high priestess maybe there's something where somebody could have been practicing something dark right could have been some sort of a ritual or practices that maybe weren't nice Maybe some of these things, I don't know, they could have come back to bite you or something like that. I feel like this has to do with practices as well as agreements with this high priestess reverse. I don't know. I just feel like somebody may have ignored something. I don't know when this stuff happened, guys. I have no idea. But I see that there's some sort of judgment here that comes up. I also see where you guys are fending off comments from people. They notice that you're very reserved, Leo, to yourself, not really sharing too much, keeping quiet, laying low. I ain't really trying to be out there like that. So yeah, people are talking, people are fending off comments, but it's good that you guys are kind of like staying under the radar or something like that. We have the judgment card that comes up for you. You guys have awakened to something. For some of you, you are now turning away from things that are traditional. For some of you guys, you may have had some sort of revelation that what you were advised things are supposed to be or taught the way things are supposed to be. For some of you guys, it doesn't necessarily go like that. For some of you, you're letting go of these very traditional beliefs or practices that seem to consume you consume creativity whatever whatever in some cases it may stall some sort of a spiritual relationship that you could be trying to have with a higher power so i feel like you guys have become awakened to something and it just says that you want to live by whatever philosophy whatever your truth is at this time leo the cards are also saying that this is a good time because the leo in this read is in good health 
it says something about you guys getting some sort of news is coming in for you guys. It's going to be beneficial to you about some situation. Now, whatever this news is that comes in for Leo, I feel like there's some injustice that may have been caused here. Maybe, Leo, somebody caused you some sort of an injustice. Maybe this was Capricorn you're going to get this news about. For some of you guys, it could be a Libra. The truth is going to come out about some situation because there was a truth that was not disclosed, right? Somebody omitted information or something like that. For some of you guys, this information that you're going to receive is coming from the justice system. For some of you guys individually, uh, there could be something having to do with maybe there's a Pisces here that may have done something dark. For some of you, you dealt directly with a Scorpio. For some of you guys, you dealt with an Aries and Libra comes up also. So there's something here with an injustice. There's going to be some delays in legal matters for some of you in this relationship. If this is your dynamic, for some of you, there's going to be some delays. There's something where somebody could have been untreated unfairly in a situation. Could it be you? Or if you're the person in power, Leo, it says that you want to be mindful of unduly punishment towards somebody else. So you guys want to be careful with that also, whatever that means to you. Some of you guys are in positions of power where you get to judge things or something like that. But for some of you guys, this is something about a punishment that could come up. There's something about a punishment because somebody chose to... Pay too much attention to outside influences versus following their intuition here, right? Because somebody did something dark. To be honest with you, it almost feels like somebody did something dark and now there's some sort of judgment or backfire that comes up. Justice reversed. It shows that, you know, the wheels of karma. So if you did something bad, I mean, uh, if you did something good, great. It comes back to you. No matter what side of the wheel you end up on, the top or the bottom, you're going to get it back one way or another. So, yeah, I mean, you just want to be at the top of the thing when it happens, right? So we have the three of cups that comes up reversed here for Capricorn. This is you experiencing some sort of success, happiness, right? You're partying it on up, hanging out with the friends. For some of you guys, this is a group of friends. And for some of you, these groups of friends or this group of people, whoever these folks are, I feel like for some of you, you don't have support from these people anymore, meaning they're no longer partying with you because I was seeing that you're having a great time traveling, doing it on up. It was groups of people here celebrating place after place after place, chilling, all types of drinking and carrying on. Maybe you were literally just having a good time with friends, but maybe to Leo, that's just not. Leo's like, yo, you duped me like. I've been treated unfairly in this situation. I have been duped. I was advised that you were going to be this and that. and Or somebody could have said that about you, Capricorn. You could have totally been falsely accused in this whole thing. You really could have. The cards are saying here, there's something where there is gratification that is very sensual, right? So it's not really anything long-term. It's very short-lived. It's very sensual, meaning it might have to do with one's feelings, how one's body responds, or I'm having a good time. Let me just go with the flow, and then it becomes too much, something like that. But I also see here, I don't know, something having to do with a group of friends that I think you guys may have walked away from, or these people left you out in the cold, Capricorn, possibly. Now, we do have the two of wands that comes up. For some of you guys, there's something where, I don't know, where this conversation went down, I feel like if I look up the three of cups and it's going to be upright, there was some sort of work that was supposed to be done here, right? There was a circle of support, people who were with you. And I don't know if these people turned their back on you or something like that, or if you're turning your back on them, Capricorn, but there might be something that you walked away from, or there might have just been too much of something, whatever it is. I don't know. But we have the two of wands that comes up. For some of you guys, there was some new offer, new business venture. For some of you, you're waiting for the results of this new business venture. I feel like some of you may have attended a celebration where maybe there was some exchange of business, right? So commerce, it could have been anything. One of those, what do you call those commerce meetings where, you know, you go and, you, you know, they got some people walking around at lunch with wine. You're not supposed to drink wine at lunch, I guess. Well, I've seen plenty of folks do it. You seen them cars that be, um, them work trucks? Yup. Them work trucks that be parked over at lunchtime. Y'all need to be checking and seeing what they be drinking sometimes. I'm just saying, hmm, y'all be coming for the regular folk. How about that, dog? Anyway, yeah, there's something like that. I feel like whatever this is, you guys may have attended something for some sort of commerce, celebration, something to expand the business, get new business ideas, maybe networking. 
with the two of wands, I see that somebody did some sort of planning. So that tells me that somebody may have moved ahead with some sort of enterprise. I also want to say with this Capricorn, this enterprise, right? Where these people that don't support you, it kind of goes on to say again, there's something with a new business. There's something where a partner may have deflected, right? So I think these cards are going on to tell us a story about why these people, this circle of support that you once had from these folks, it could have been your Leo. It could have been a Camp uh, Capricorn. It could have been a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. So these people that supported you at one time, I feel like they're not supporting you anymore or you can't get their buy-in for something. The cards are saying that you're waiting for some sort of results coming from a business venture. The cards also go on to say there's something with a bank loan that maybe didn't happen or somebody deflected. Somebody walked away from this deal. Maybe the money didn't come through. The cards are saying here that there's a need for you to alter course. I want to be clear. It does not say the Capricorn stopped. It says that they had to alter course. So at some point, they could have been working with you, Leo. There's Leo Sagittarius, right? For some of you, you could have been working with a water sign, a Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio to get something done, something with commerce, something with the Queen of Pentacles, right? So somebody tried to do something. Somebody was planning something for, or maybe you are Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles here, and maybe some injustice was done to you. I don't know how this goes. But with the Queen of Pentacles, this was about somebody gaining some sort of stability. This is coming up under your energy here. A false celebration. I can no longer get buy-in from these people. I now have to plan. I have to go work with another group of people now. Now I got to go get an Aries Leo or Sag to work with, right? Somebody else besides you, Leo. It could have been another Aries Leo Sag to do something to get, I don't know, finances or some sort of stability. It could have been a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini here. There's the Ace of Swords that comes up for you guys, right? This is a common energy. Now, with Capricorn, there's somebody here. This could be you. The Queen of Pentacles could be your generous. The cards are saying that you are a great manager. It says that whatever you pour your money into, you want to make sure that you get tangible results. So you're not going to put your money into some crap that's not going to get you anywhere, right? You're not really caring what the people think. You're caring about the return, right? You're thinking about the quality of this or the quality of that or how can I get something done? Ethically. I don't know. Should it be public or private? Like Stuff like that. I feel like you guys are trying to figure something out. If that is the case for you. But no lie. Some, I ain't gonna lie though. This kind of feel crooked. It does. This Capricorn feel a little. I don't know. Like shady. Right? Like I don't know. Like shady. Like one of them people peeking around. Like you know. Like shady. Like something is off or based off this person's behavior, it just seems like something maybe not on the up and up, right? So I don't know. I, I, they were doing something and they went back to the drawing board. So whatever this, this commerce party is that they went to or something like that, it didn't go their way. That's the thing about it. So I feel like somebody could have been partying. Somebody had to re-alter, meaning they had to go through another group of people, find a different way. Somebody could have got judgment on something, something having to do with the Queen of Pentacles, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Somebody wanted some sort of control. Somebody ran into some issues here. I feel like the common energy between you guys is there something where there's a misunderstanding or somebody wants somebody to feel like they misunderstand something. Like, I don't get what you're saying, something like that. Somebody could be stressed out. There's something where somebody may have lied. There's something with dishonesty that shows up here. Somebody had some sort of an idea. And I feel like it's a failed idea, but there's some delays. I will tell you this also. The common energy between Leo and Capricorn, there's some friction being caused here with the Libra Aquarius or Gemini. That could be somebody that lied. A Libra could have lied about something or there's some injustice that comes up. But remember, Leo, you get communication about this. So there's something that you might find out about a Capricorn indulging with a group of people. There's something where you realize you have to alter course. This is Capricorn now. Capricorn's partying. Capricorn's like, oh, no, these people are not going for what I'm saying. So let me go back to the drawing board and da-da-da, da-da-da. So that's what y'all did. Somebody had to plan something with the Queen of Pentacles. 
and engagement. Capricorn, it's really interesting because when I look at this, I see that, again, you're suffering from some sort of financial issues. You're also very focused on your career. There was something here where Leo wasn't necessarily feeling comfortable because I feel like Leo might be the one with the kids here or something like that. Or maybe for some of you guys, if you're a couple, your Capricorn was like stalling you when it came to having children. Or Leo, you're insecure about children somehow. Or I don't know if I'm getting one of these energies where you got those weird old guys or girls. Give up your kids for me. What? Hmm. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know what kind of energy this is, but yeah, so there's a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini here. Where are my cards at? I don't know where my things went. I want to get some cards. Well, let me get a conversation first. Huh? Leo, what's hidden here? Because there's some of these kids, like, what's up? What's going on here? What's hidden? I see you're passionate about somebody, but I feel like somebody might be asking you to give up something that's just too much. Or asking you to compromise too much. I'm like, I'm not compromising anymore. I'm not. All right. Leo's Listen, Leo's like, listen, Capricorn, I know that I crossed the line with you. Guys, take this how it resonates. These cards, uh, they might be the other person's energy. Only you know your story. I don't know your story. Give me more. I know that I crossed the line with you. Give me more, Leo. What else do you have to say to Capricorn? I'm starting to understand our connection. All right. Somebody's starting to get some revelations about the connection that you guys share. Give me more. You and I were too young. Okay. All right. Ah, met each other before. We're together before. Mm. Capricorn. What's going on with Leo? I don't think I know any Leo Capricorn couples. I don't know. I don't know. I would never think of a Leo Capricorn combo either. I just, I don't think of it. I just really don't be thinking about it. I don't think about any of this stuff. I really don't think about anything other than like Scorpio. <laughs> like, like the sign. I mean, I don't know. Anyway. Capricorn, what's going on? Oh, I got one. Hold up. I am not becoming a better person. I'm still out here about my money. I'm still out here trying to get with you because my finances might be jacked up or that's my focus. I'm also still holding on to my ex. I wonder if you are happy without me. There's separation here. You and I were too young. Okay, hold up. Give me one more, Capricorn. What do you have to say to Leo? Reverse. Finding out the truth crushed me. Finding out the truth didn't surprise me. Didn't surprise me. What? What's the common energy? I do not love you unconditionally. The only way I'm looking to, or what is that saying? The only way I'm looking to, what is it, overlook something? Yeah, to overlook something is with the promise of a house, a project, a house, a project, or some sort of financial game or money. It was a house, a project, or something else. I go back and look at it again. Yeah. So if somebody doesn't have these things into play, then they feel like, you know, I ain't rocking with you. I cannot overlook certain things. Like, I can't overlook certain things that are, you know... I don't know. I guess the normal Joe Schmo would have an issue with, or... Be considered insecure about or something like that. Like, you know, whatever. Something like that. So basically, I don't know if y'all are too selfish people or, or whatever's going on here. But I don't love you. I feel like there's codependency in a sense. I love you unconditionally. I don't love you unconditionally. I don't. Like, if you can't give me that house, yo, if you can't. You can't this, you can't that, then I ain't with you. Like, there's no point in me being like, right, I have to benefit if I'm with you. That's the energy that I'm getting. I replay our conversations over and over. <sighs> I do want one of these, though. I'm curious. Hold up. No, wait, I'm on the... Oh, here they are. All right, hold up. Give me another story. Give me another conversation. 
honestly never thought of a Leo Capricorn combo. I don't know. It's just like I said. I never thought of that. But being that we're here. Now, we already have what's hidden, right? So somebody's thinking about y'all's combo. Both of you guys are thinking about conversations had in the past. I feel like Capricorn, if you guys are broken up, right? So there's some acknowledgement that Leo was very young. Like, oh, we were too young. You and I were too young. So I'm thinking you guys are in the same age bracket or whatever, right? Or you were younger. And I replay the conversations. Y'all may have had some very deep conversations, but I also feel like Capricorn can't let go or has not let go of something. Give me more. I don't feel the need to be in control. Both you guys are like, I don't need to be in control of anything. I feel like somebody might be holding on and somebody interprets it as control, which in a sense, I guess it is, right? You do not fuel my creativity. You actually paralyze my creativity. There's something, I don't know, I feel, I feel toxicity. Hmm. Oh, I feel your husband or wife material. Y'all still feel that way about each other. One more. I'm spying on you. Okay, so y'all both crazy. I don't know. I see y'all got y'all nuts. I don't know. Maybe this is a maybe a very fiery slash passionate. I don't know what this is, but somebody was drinking too much. But you know, Leo, you also hiding stuff too. Somebody's hiding something about a Pisces. Somebody's calling some sort of judgment on a Scorpio or Leo. There's a Scorpio making a judgment on you. For some of you guys, you have some legal matters. They're going to speak. There's going to be some delays to legal matters for some of you Leos. For some of you, there's going to be a decision that goes against you because of some injustice that maybe you gave out or maybe somebody gave to you. I don't know. Like Leo, there could be a Libra that lied on you about something. You're going to get some acknowledgement that something was said that wasn't right. It was a lie. There's going to be something, some kind of communication you guys get. But it's also, when you get this communication, going to bring to light some things that maybe surprise you, right? Like over excessive partying and, you know, maybe drugs flying or chandeliers or whatever they had going on, right, at these places. For some of you guys, this was about commerce. For some of you guys, this was literally somebody was overindulging and partying. So really, again, you have to figure out which Capricorn you are in this read. There's something that happened with a group of people, some teamwork, something that was supposed to happen. It didn't go right. Somebody had to go back to the drawing board. They're like, listen, I really do want to invest in this business, but I can't do it that way. I don't know if that I can't do it that way with something ethical. Like I don't feel right doing business with these people or these people turned me down as drunk and high as they were. They still told me no. And I still had to go back. So if the high pokes told you no, Capricorn. How'd you get their buy-in? I don't know. Something like that. I'm going to leave it there. That's all I have for you guys. Oh, that's 28 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one, you know, just up for interpretation. I will say this also, though. Like, this Ace of Swords here, somebody had some clarity on something or somebody gained some kind of knowledge about something. The knowledge is or somebody found out, and I believe this to be the justice system, that somebody was lying. A Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini lied about something. Or they covered something up. Or for some of y'all, there's a Pisces out here that knows the truth about something that happened at some event. Something where somebody deemed it to be a misunderstanding. Was it really though? Something happened somewhere. Somebody ended up having some kind of surgery too. Y'all, it was a surgery. Somebody had some a new idea about something. Somebody got clarity on something. Somebody got confirmation that somebody did have some sort of a surgery. Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, something like that. Whatever. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I love you. I will see you at the next read. Hmm. All right. I think that's all I have. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. Am I forgetting something? I don't think so. What's in the button? Yeah. Somebody lying. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. I love you. Bye.